Anybody else got a different one than that? Yeah. Griffin. He threw the unfresh mouse away. Yeah, get that nasty mouse out of here, right? Yeah, check the mouse in the river. Okay, how about George controlling Lenny? Tim, what's one for you? Uh, George holding on to Lenny's work card. Can't hear him. George holding on to Lenny's work card. Yep. George always seems he's always forgetting something, right? So George holds on to it because he knows he'll lose it. There's another one, Monica. For George controlling Lenny. Okay, yep. Can't, can't hold on to the mouse to get rid of okay? They can't bring it. It's not fresh. Exactly. They can be protecting him. That's also controlling him, too, okay? If you had something you wouldn't want to tell someone, or if someone came up to you and just controlled what you did, you wouldn't like that at all. Jeffrey, another, another example. All right, George made Lenny go get firewood. Made him go get firewood, okay? While George sat back, took a nice little nap, and gazed up at the stars, Lenny's out there hauling all the big stuff back, okay, to make a fire. Can we got another example of that? Yeah. Can't have ketchup. Can't have ketchup. No ketchup for you. Even though they didn't have ketchup, so no ketchup, okay? Lenny's inability inability to control his strength. What's an example? Yes. Killing the mice. Petting too hard with his little big old thumb. Jeffrey. Lenny not remembering anything. That's a great one. Jeffrey brought that to my attention as well. Inability to control his strength, not just his physical strength, but his mindset, okay? His strength of mind. He's very forgetful. He forgets everything, okay? And George Keep had to repeat himself to uh, Lenny so he remembers. Yeah. What's up like the dress? Yep, the dress did one as well, okay? Inability to control his strength. It was just a simple, nice little dress before they got kicked out of the town of Weed, okay? Anybody else got another one? That's what about men, it's a pretty good one, okay? So hold on to this, okay? Because each chapter we're going to do the same thing. This helps with the storyline, helps with the character development, and we see why uh, Steinbeck goes to write about each one of these in each chapter. Continues the story. There's a reason why he's writing it. He's not just writing to write, okay? There's a reason behind it. And now one more little thing. We're going to keep working, guys. We're going to get this story down pat. Wow, 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 wow. Who knows what TLQ stands for? TLQ? Transition. Link quote? What do you think it is? Transition link quotes. Yeah, there it is. I hate these. Okay. Did somebody can help me? Did they help me? Okay, at the end of the unit, we will be writing an expository essay. I know you probably forgot which one of mine is. Hey, listen, please. End of the unit, end of the book. We will watch the movie. It's a great movie. Hopefully we, we get no tears rolling down the cheeks. Okay? Oh, oh, cheers. We're also going to have a unit test okay? over Steinbeck's background, oh, over the novel itself, over each character. Okay? won't be difficult as long as we continue to do this, continue to fill those charts. It's going to be really easy for you guys. We're also going to have an expository essay. Okay? This is going to help you write an expository essay. What usually is the start of an essay? What's with a T? That's a body paragraph. Thesis. Yes, thesis. Starts it off. Okay, we don't have thesis on there yet. We're going to cover the thesis later on. Body paragraph has a what to begin it? To begin body paragraph, what does it have? Topic sentence. Okay? So the topic sentence over chapter one. Friendship with Lenny is difficult for George. He must protect and guide him constantly. Okay? So let me give you an example of a transition from that topic sentence. One transition. Transition word. If you're writing a paper and you transition from topic sentence. It's for example. For example. For example. That's the one I always like to use, okay? It's quick, it's easy, easy to remember, okay? Friendship with Lenny is difficult for George, must protect and guide him constantly. Okay, so what's link? What is a link? What's another word? Another word to say link. But what is the link Connect. about? Connect, close. No, we already got the transition. Don't look. 
What's the elf link? <laughs> I don't know. Where can you look? Over that way. Everyone looks. No. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> Link is context. What does context usually mean? Now listen, please. Context, okay? And the context is referring to the Q, which is? Quote. Okay, what is the context of the quote? What is happening when Lenny or George says this? What is happening when. I guess I don't know the other characters, I guess, yet. So, you got to find the context of the quote. The trick I like to do. Like, like, for example, okay, boom. Uh, the quote Q is also what? CD. What does CD stand for? Concrete detail. detail, which are? Explicit textual evidence. Explicit textual evidence, okay? So it's word for word facts about the story, okay? Then we have CM, which is? Commentary. Commentary, yes, perfect, okay? So we're gonna try. We're gonna do one as a class, and then you guys will fill out other ones right here. You guys have that graphic organizer we just had, okay, to help you with this, okay. So the topic sentence is: Friendship with Lenny is difficult for George, who must protect and guide him. Okay. To start off. What do we start with? For example. Okay, comma. Let's find a quote to show friendship with Lenny is difficult for George. She must protect and guide him constantly. A quote we found before class was Never had none. Think I let you carry your own work card? Okay. What's the context of that quote? What's happening before? Why does George say that? Or what's going on right before that? Because uh, Lenny can't find Yes, okay? So, for example, when Lenny thinks he lost his own work card, George tells him Okay, so that's the context of the quote we already found. Comma, quotation marks, not the line thingies above, quotation marks. Okay, and then you have to take, so the CD is concrete detail, word for word. Okay, on page five, you'll see it says, you never had none. Comma, dot, 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 just, okay. Think I let you carry your own work card. Okay, for the punctuation for this, does anybody know how to do punctuation when citing word for word from the text? What do I put after work card? Or sorry. Question mark. Question mark. Okay. Good. And then quotes. Okay. Then what do I do? If we took it from a text, how do we cite it? Yeah. Okay, but do we just put page number? What do we put around the page numbers? Parentheses. Who said parentheses? I did. Good, Giovanni. So you go like this. Parentheses. Page five. Parentheses. Did you say PG5? Nope. Just just the number. No, just for MLA format, when we're writing expository essays, no need to put PG, no need to put the title of the story, just the number, okay? So quotation five, quota or parentheses five, parentheses, period, after the page number. Okay? So here's the transition, for example, that is the transition, right? The link or context is another way to say it. It's right there to there. And where did we get that context from? From the quote. 